Tell me another story, Grandpa. All right, one more story, I suppose. Did I ever tell you about the time I went out to find a difficulty five terrain five? No, tell me. It all started during my college years. I sat down at my computer one day, looking for an adventure to complete. Well, I happened to notice that there was a geocache far away from home that I wanted to go find. It was said to be the hardest cache in the world. From that moment on, I was on a mission. I set out on the old dusty trail, my GPS saying that the cache was over 400 miles into the wilderness. I let nothing stand in my way. In order to find the cache, I trudged through the deepest of forests. I walked across raging rivers on unstable bridges, fearing for my life. There were points at which I had to jump off of cliffs. And I even had to slide off of waterfalls. All this I did in the name of geocaching. It took me 40 days total. 40 hard days of adventure. But finally, after all my hard work, I made it to Ground Zero. I spent ages looking and looking for the cache, not to be found anywhere. I was losing all hope. But then, there it was, right in front of my face. It had all paid off. I cracked open the cache, and I pulled out the log. And then I reached for my pen. It was, it was, it was nowhere to be found. All those, all those miles and hard work, only to end at this. I should have listened. I, I knew I should have. The cash page, it said BYOP. This was the hardest stage of my life. Now I could say that the moral of the story is that the joy of geocaching is in the hunt and not the find. But in all honesty, the moral of the story is that if you don't bring your own pen, you're not going to be a good time. Always bring your own pen.